Economics and you. What are economics? The famous economist Alfred Marshall has an answer. He says economics is a study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It examines that part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and use of material requisites of well-being. Adam Smith is the father of modern economics. In 1776, he wrote his famous book, *The Wealth of Nations*. In that book, he expressed two main ideas: the invisible hand and laissez-faire, both expressing that we should leave things be when it comes to economics. There are two assumptions that must always be made in economics. The first is everything is scarce. Scarcity is defined as the state of being scarce or in short supply. The second is that everything has a cost. There are five economy goals: efficiency, growth, security, equity, and freedom. But security and freedom aren't compatible. You have to choose one or the other. Karl Marx is the father of communism. He wrote the book Capital. He had influence on the Russian Revolution and today's communist and socialist economic systems. John Locke was an English philosopher. America's economic system is partially based around his ideals. He believed property was a natural right derived from labor, separate from the government. This stems from the idea of tabula rasa. Thomas Malthus was an English cleric and scholar. He believed the world population was increasing at a geometric rate, while the food rate was going up at an arithmetic rate. He basically believed that we were all doomed to starve, and it kind of sounded like something out of the movie Infinity War. Economics and you. In a command or centrally planned economy, the government answers the three questions: what is to be produced, how much, and for whom. Winston Churchill addresses this kind of economy when he said, "The inherited vice of capitalism is an unequal sharing of wealth. The inherited virtue of socialism is an equal sharing of misery." And it is proven today that socialism fails after fail after fail after fail. But what we have in America is a market economy where there is no planning. The people answer the three questions, and we are defined by our freedom, specialization, competition, and profit motive. And this overall makes us more efficient and effective. And that's a wrap.